like to draw your attention, folks, to Shamino's model, specifically the left side of his tunic. You've probably noticed now, but it's doing a strange clipping thing. But if we change the camera angle slightly, the clipping stops. A mystery indeed, one of many in this game, that we are never going to solve. Welcome back, folks, to Let's Play Ultima 9 Ascension, and when last we left off, we managed to return Shamino's spirit to his body, and thus bring our friend back to Britannia. And my, did he have some very important news for us. He told us, while searching in the void, that he discovered that the Guardian and the Avatar are one and the same being. For when we, as the Stranger, attained Avatarhood in Ultima 4, all of our evil was stripped from our being, and it coalesced into the Guardian. This explains why, when we tried to attack the Guardian, we couldn't hurt the Guardian, but we succeeded in hurting ourselves. which makes me wonder, if the Guardian attacked us, would he hurt himself? And that now makes me wonder, if the Avatar dies, does the Guardian die? So every time we lose and die in-game, is the Guardian also slain, and thus Britannia saved in some strange way? If that's going to happen, it's best we do it when we restore all of the virtues, because I doubt the uh, columns will stop working even when the Guardian perishes. But either way, we now need to go to the Isle of the Avatar, and do something that I never thought we'd do again, which is summon Pyros, because we need to get to the Abyss, and the only way we can get to the Abyss is by contacting a creature who resides in the Abyss. And Pyros does! We got the information how to do this, I didn't mean to stand on this, but ah well, from the spirit of Malkir, who falsely accused us of getting him killed by Pyros, when actually he got killed by us, and his anger at us was what blinded him to the truth. Also, we are doing that thing where we stare at an NPC constantly again. And for some reason, we can't talk to Shamino, so we're going to have to find somebody else to talk to to stop that from happening. Good thing I know of an NPC that we can talk to here. Now, the way out of the Valley of Souls should be to the right, and it is. Marvellous. And if we stop here, the Avatar just stares at Shamino through the wall, I still can't believe what he told me, but he is my friend, and I've always trusted him, so I should... That's a hole in space-time. I should probably ignore that. That's the second hole that we've encountered while exiting a cave. I wonder if that's something to do with them reusing, uh, parts of the world that they've created, and thus replicating that hole. Either way, we can speak to the person that's running this strange spectral tavern, and that should return our gaze to normal. Sorry, can't talk right now. I can understand you are very busy standing on that counter. Let's go. We also uh, have a few things that we could drop off back in Britain, but I'm not going to because we're going to be making quite a bit of space soon on account of the ritual to summon Pyros. One that we may not actually need Blackrock for. Hello, eyes, how are you? Stop staring at me, please. And I think they've stopped. Right, to get out of here, we just need to jump back into this. And considering the fact that we are not dead, we are returned to here. And now we just need to swim out. This should be pretty easy, because there is that uh, line of air bubbles that we can take advantage of. In reality, it would be very difficult to take advantage of these, but we're the Avatar, and so we're absolutely fine. There we go, there was also something that attacked us with a, uh, magic spell around here, yep. There's that thing that's attacking us, I don't know what it is, and I'd rather not know, so let's just keep swimming. Oh, we got hit there, but we took barely any damage, that's probably to do with our black rock. Uh, black rock armor is very good at resisting magic attacks. And for some reason, we're able to still use magic while we're wearing it. We really shouldn't be able to. Either way, we're out. And we just need to go back to the boat. And speak to the statue. May blessings be upon you, worthy avatar. Thank you. Let's go. The boat is just over here. 
we have loads of gold. We're probably about to get a fair bit more gold where we're going. Well, not where we're going next, but where we're ultimately going. I doubt we're going to find too much gold on the Isle of the Avatar. While it apparently is invisible to all mortal eyes, Shamano said that we should trust ourselves and we'll be able to find it. And he's got a point. We are the Avatar. If anybody should know where the Isle of the Avatar is, it's us. To get to the Abyss, we must go to the Isle of the Avatar. Where would you like to go? Well, you said it yourself. Isle of the Avatar. And off we go! Strafing boat away! It's still going to be night when we get there, isn't it? Oh, that it is. Also, uh, the Blackrock armor is not shiny like the plate mail is. And so, we have arrived. Let us save, because this place is probably going to be very dangerous. And there are quite a few things we can explore, and there is something that we really want. So let us try and find you it. You are a worthy adversary, Avatar, but the game is mine. We shall see, Guardian. We shall see. Now let's have our sword out, because we're not going to find anyone friendly here. We're not going to find any enemies here either, but we are going to find a big pile of gold. We'll take the gold. And we will carry on. Heading over here. And there's a very obvious way that we need to go, which is this way to the center of the island. That is where we need to go to summon Pyros. And I think, actually, if we go to our spell book, it'll probably be there. Rituals. There's Sanctify. The Sanctify Ritual purges evil from places that have been corrupted. Sanctify requires the ability to meditate, which requires practice. This ritual is used to bind a spell into a major spellbook. A binding pentagram is needed, and the corresponding level of magic must be freed. Then there's Restoration. The Restoration Ritual, when performed in a place of virtue, can restore the mage to full health and mana, as well as cure poison. Then there's Return. Using an orb of the moons in a circle of stones, the mage can summon a moon gate to take him to a purified shrine of virtue. Spirit Speak. The Spirit Speak ritual allows the caster to communicate with the spirits of the dead who have passed beyond our plane. Then we have Reunite Body and Spirit. Spirits can be torn from their bodies and cast into the void. The Reunite Body and Spirit ritual returns the spirit to a living body. And finally, Summon Pyros. The Summon Pyros ritual is but a rumour, but is said to have the power to unleash the Titan of Fire from his fiery chains. Not sure we want to do that in any situation other than now, but we're kind of desperate. This person was carrying a potion of poison. That was not a smart move. Alright, there is a slasher demon there. We want to avoid that slasher demon if we can. Well, for as long as we can anyway. We're inevitably going to have to have at the with that demon eventually. Also, we are here. We want to look around, I think, the southeast of this island, because that is where we will find our treasure. Also, doesn't appear to be anything really good here, so let's keep heading up and be wary of you. Be very, very wary of you. Ah! A spider. Have at thee! Still haven't noticed me? Well, that's not good for you. You're gone. Took me a while to get a uh, good hit there. But we got you. Now, we can't move through this without doing that. Okay. So, we are in the southeast generally. Also, lots of potions here. You know what? I can do with a couple of these. So, let us grab a couple of these. Also, that one dislodged everything else. Now, there is a, what looks to be a crude ladder. That ladder is actually not going to uh, take us anywhere. There's a path over here. I'm going to follow this path. Ooh. There's another spider here. There's an area up there. Let's go into here. This area seems quite familiar. Hello! You are gone? Ha-ha! <laughs> And our reward is huge pile of gold. 8,590 now. 
More spider silk. Hmm. This area seems very dark. Ah! This is where the Codex of Ultimate Wisdom would normally be. And we could uh, consult it and find out many interesting things. Things we need to know, but unfortunately, uh, not here right now. Kind of stolen by Blackthorn, so, uh, going to have to get that back. Also, I'm curious as to if anything is back here. I think the, uh, yeah, those statues are there in such a way that we really can't go past them, so nothing of any interest there. Also, really want to see what is in this dark area. Nothing's in the dark area. Okay. Don't need any spider silk. Don't need that pearl either, so we'll put this back on. And we'll put this back here. And keep exploring the island. There you are. We've got a good way of dealing with you. It's called our arrows. We just need to get a good shot. Just gotta wait. That was a miss. That didn't consume that much mana. That'll get you, though. Aha! How about they? I mean, if you don't want to actually attack me, that's, that's great. Nope, you just seem like you don't want to attack. Suit me! You're going to eventually notice I'm here. And when you do, you're going to fire lightning at me. Oh. I'm not very good at aiming at you, it would seem. There we go. The Avatar was never the best at firing bows. It's, uh... Oh, got you there. It would seem like this, uh... Slasher Demon is entirely uninterested in actually attacking me. I mean, I'll take, uh... It's disinterest and slay it. There we go. One less enemy to worry about. And some gold here that I may or may not be able to grab. Yep, I can grab it. Excellent. Now over here is a uh, pile of toppled pillars. And nothing else around here. That leads back down to there. And if we check the map, we are close to that hole. There's still more of this item we want to explore. We really do want to explore it. I don't want to miss this item. There it is! There it is. That is what I didn't want to miss. Folks, say hi to a, uh, pair of Black Rock uh, arm guards just lying around. And with that, we have all but one piece of the legendary Black Rock armor. Also, a chalice just sort of sitting there. Don't need any of that. Also, another green potion bottle. Gonna leave that behind, too. And I think we will keep exploring. There is, uh, an area over here that we can go say hi to. I think on the map there is a small bit of beach up there. There is a small bit of beach. We can probably access it via an easier method. I thought that those would be better hidden than they are, though. I really did. I really thought that they would, you know, be in a small, hidden place. I could have completely avoided fighting the Slasher Demon, but it didn't, uh, hurt to fight it. Also, we got some nice loot. Now that's where we're gonna summon Pyros. We're not going there just yet. Still want to explore a little bit. There's a bit of, uh, beach over to the east that I'm gonna try and get to. And probably the best way to get to that is to just swim around. This is when, yeah, if we, uh, if we stop, uh, holding down the button to swim, we will sink like a stone, because we are wearing a lot of heavy armor, though only the, uh, black rock chest plate here makes sure that we sink. If we weren't wearing that, we would be okay, I think. But so long as we're actually holding the swim button, nothing bad will happen. Also, this island is quite... Quiet. I don't like how quiet it is. There's an eerie silence about it. 
I imagine around here we're only really going to find some trouble, or maybe a tiny bit of loot, and uh, we're nearly up to maximum gold again. No need to worry about gold right now. Uh, ooh, there's a pearl. Ooh, there's stuff. Excellent. What is here? Gold. Won't say no to gold. We'll, however, say no to that empty flask, and there's a broken barrel. Probably going to be a bit more for me to find, though, so let's have a look. This armor, by the way, looks absolutely fantastic. I really do like the look of this armor. It is nifty. There was probably a much easier way to get here, too, that didn't involve swimming, but either way, yeah, looks to be uh, a route there that we could have taken. Everything's just popping in. Is that another bottle of serpent wine? I think that is. Oh, that's good to find. That's really good to find. And there's a giant creature over there. Oh. Oh, that's the creature that was, uh... The creature that was uh, attacking us in Scarabray. Hmm. Are you going to come close enough that I can... I think you might. Have at thee! Dance, strange creature, dance! Dance for our amusement! And it's gone. Bleh. Did it drop gold? Hmm, nope, didn't drop gold. But it was good to fight one. Just to uh, show off what they can do. And if we go over here, I think this will lead to the central area. Which means that we can go and perform the ritual to summon Pyros. Yep, a very uh, sneaky way over here, which brings us back to the boat. Could have used this instead, but ah well. Now let us go into that middle area and find the final part of the ritual that we need. That is a demon's head. There happens to be one right there. How handy! So let us put the uh, the demon head here. Then we shall place the uh, sulfurous ash. Where is it? There it is, a sulfurous ash, the spider silk, and this is black rock beneath us, actually. So you know what? We don't actually need to place any black rock down. Interesting. I thought that might have been the case, but it is always a good idea to carry some uh, black rock around spare, just in case. Now we need the candle as well. And then all we need to do is cast the Summon Pyros, which will also look at all of the healing I have. Look at all of it. I have some serpent wine on our uh, hot bar, and I still have five bottles of it. Also, might as well uh, put the yellow potion away. Double check that uh, there's another potion right there. Oh my, we do have a lot of them, don't we? We do. Right. We're going to save, because... For all we know, this could go horribly wrong. Maybe Malkir was lying to us and uh, playing the long game, but I, I don't think he was. So, we go here and summon Pyros. Uh, how do I cast it? Oh, do I drag it onto my bar? No. Or do I just use this? Do I light the candle? Ooh, it's probably lighting the candle, isn't it?
And so, we have arrived. Welcome, folks, to the Stygian Abyss. The final dungeon of the game, and the longest, I believe. Also, the most difficult. Also, also, no words shared between Pyros and the Avatar? No anger? Hmm. That seems like something that's blocking our forward progress. And if I were to guess, I would say that those are the colours of the elements. That there is lightning, and we have earth, fire, and water. Considering that we just summoned Pyros, it's quite apt that we're going through an elemental theme right now. And so, when we come back, folks, the start of the Stygian Abyss. Will we prevail? Will we perish? Well, we have the best equipment that we can possibly have, and a lot of resources, and I mean a lot of resources. The manor is a bit of an issue, but hopefully we won't need too much of it. We do have the armor of the troll if we need to regain health, and we can save our mana for threats like slasher demons, or when we need to cast a spell. But we should be okay. Keyword, should be. Also, maybe we'll find the final part of the Blackrock armor here, and max out that armor bar. And so, I'll catch you next time, folks, and I'll see you then. Later.